what's going on YouTube? I'm standing here with Eric. I was just in the office, came knocked on my door and he said, hey, listen, we got to change one of the cutting edges. So let's get some content. Here we are. We got a John Deere 4066R right behind me here with a Norman hybrid 82 inch blower on it. Eric's going to change the cutting edge on this blower. He's going to show you our custom cutting edge that we make in house here. It's um, for an 82 inch model hybrid here. You could see on the ground. Eric custom fabricated the stainless steel cutting edge in house here at Northern. And you guys could see this is a hell of a cutting edge some thick thick material and really does the job well done for us here at northern italian steel italian milled steel our favorite five eighths thick just a mean mean cutting edge with plenty of integrity that's what we run on our blowers across our entire fleet so we're going to take this old stock stainless steel cutting edge that we got from norman off right now show you guys in depth how that looks pretty unfortunate that uh, the stainless steel cutting edge that came from norman only lasted us what 12 snow events maybe 150 hours of use and they cost about 800 dollars per cutting edge from norman not to mention they're like are they under half an inch eric what's the size of them <laughs> You got to stock one right here, right? Or is it half an inch? Yeah, they are three eighths. Three eighths. So we got three eighths for the thickness here. One, one eighth more to get to half an inch, right? Which is like a big difference. It's like a half an inch difference with that one already, right? So you could tell that we went much, much more thicker on our homemade stainless steel cutting edges because we wanted more integrity. We wanted them to last longer. Uh, of course, the type of steel you have too is going to make a, a big difference. We didn't cheap out. We bought some good milled steel as Eric was saying right from Italy. You see how nice we countersank those holes and it'll bolt up beautifully. So we're going to go throw this cutting edge on our Norman Hybrid 82 on the John Deere 4066R and I'm going to show you guys up close and personal what's going on underneath the blower. So as you can see the stainless steel is already done. It's already done. So this lining here is what is remaining from the stainless steel blade. This in here is just a mild steel that we used for beefing it up. We have a steel bar in here to kind of beef up the edge. That way the cutting edge could actually touch the ground. If we don't use this steel bar, you could see it from the back a little bit better. If you could see here, this is the stainless steel right here, almost worn down to nothing. And then we have a reinforced steel bar there to add a little extra height height to the blower that way the cutting edge touches the ground when we originally put the stainless steel cutting edge onto the blower we realized that you could see the sides here were touching the ground but yet the blade wasn't touching the ground for the cutting edge at all so eric is like hey man we got to beef this up a little bit so as you could tell there is a flat bar of steel it's about yeah, yeah, about a quarter 316 as well 316s yeah we put that steel bar on to beef it up a little bit that way the cutting edge touches the ground you can see from the side angle here, it's just enough material for the cutting edge to add a little bit of height so that the sides of the blower weren't scraping the ground first, as you could tell on the box here, right? So that's why we had to beef it up. But nonetheless, we're going to take this stock stainless steel cutting edge off. And then we're also going to take the steel bar out with the proper thickness now that we have came up with here for our stainless steel cutting edge. So you guys could see it's a lot thicker. So when we put it on the bottom, we're not going to need that extra piece of steel, right, Eric? Yeah, we will not need we, it anymore. We won't need it anymore. No. So that was purposely done for a few reasons. But one being that we don't need that steel bar anymore to beef up the cutting edge. And then I guess the second thing would be because we want more integrity out of our blades, right? Exactly. Well, let's put it on. We got two stainless steel cutting edges here. One that Eric dulled the edges on both sides and four corners. And then we got one here that has not been dulled. So if you come in close, Eric's going to explain to you what he did here. So what I did is I grinded the four corners and uh, this corner in here, I'm going to use this as, a, as the front, as the one that will scrape. Actually, this is the bottom side, of course. I grinded like a good portion in here because when you have the blower already scraping the driveway and you move side to side you can leave scrapes with this look at these sharp corners in here right like you want to avoid having like very sharp corners like this one right so this will be just the perfect setup and then obviously the whole line that is gonna scrape 
you want to have it like dull compared to, to how it comes, right? Definitely really, really necessary. Uh, we learned this from our good friend, uh, Jim McKenzie at Capital Services. He's been playing around with stainless steel edges for over 20 years. And he told Eric and I, he said, Make sure when you fabricate and mill your stainless steel cutting edges that you dull the front side, the back side, and then all four corners. That way you're not gouging driveways and really ruining any asphalt, concrete, interlock, brick, etc. So that's what we do. Time to strap it to the blower now. Yeah, we are gonna take it up, take the, uh, the old blade uh, off the blower now, and then we are gonna proceed to put it on. Yeah, like you could see, eh? What a difference how smooth it is compared to how sharp the front cutting edge is here, you see? It takes about 10, 15 minutes to really smooth it out like this, but I can promise you it is certainly worth it, and it's very, very necessary. If you just put a brand new blade on like this, and you don't wear down and soften the front edge and the corners you might run the risk of gouging quite a bit of driveways and leaving some scratch marks so this softens everything up nice nice that way the cutting edge could scrape along the driveway very smoothly type of bolt that we're using with the nylon lock nut in there so we don't have to be putting different pressure washers and stuff like that really nice bolts yeah. that we get from msc shout out to msc man they've yeah. been great no definitely shout out to msc we deal with them i mean you could deal with fastenal fastenal is another big one but we personally love msc eric's got the dimensions for you here so eric give them a rundown for the dimensions so these bolts are half an inch flat socket by one and three quarters that's what we are using right now then a half an inch uh, lock nut with the nylon lock nut in there that's perfect enough okay let's strap this puppy up we're good to go And this is a finished blade. If we wouldn't have another option, what I would do is just flip it around, right? Because the other side still has some to do, but the front side, side, as you can see, is gone. The good thing is that the holes in this one come in the center, right? So you can flip it around, right? In an emergency, I would have just flip it around if we, we wouldn't have another one, but we're just gonna put a new one. We're gonna be keeping this lower end tractor, so we might as well just get it done, right? So we're gonna get this baby on right now. What a nice cutting edge. Yeah. This is built in-house custom. Yours truly, Eric Boulan, Northern Edition Stainless Steel Cutting Edge. We'll have these for sale soon. I promise it's coming one day. Smart. As you can see, if you have everything ready, this will be so fast. Like pit stop style, brother. The way we love it. Two more. Last one, good. I prefer them to come a little bit longer in here. I just need to check that anything of the auger will touch one of them because then it will be so loud and it will start damaging the auger, right? So sometimes I end up having to cut just the tip of one of them, right? For this one, I think it will be all right, but I will still check it with turning the auger off. That's the way you do it. Now we're gonna go check the auger. Let's see if it's hitting any of the bolts, Eric. Start her up. This is another important thing. After you put it on, remember that whatever inclination you were giving to your blower, you gotta change it to make it perfect to the new blade, right? You gotta be adjusting the three-point hitch all the time so you always have it in the right angle to scrape good enough, but not to over-scrape, right? Lay it flat, lay it flat, let's see how it looks. Yeah. If we gotta adjust the top link, we will. That's a very good point, Eric. 
So you can see in here, the room in between the cutting edge and the ground in here, I can feel my fingers in there. That is not good. That means it's scraping too much. You're gonna overwear your cutting edge for no reason. There is no need for it. And if you get a dry way that the pavers or whatever is sticking out is gonna be very hard on the machine because it's gonna or stop it or it will break uh, the brick or whatever, right? So we have to be checking this all the time, right? So we're gonna adjust the top link right now, Eric? Yeah. Keep going. That's good. Good enough? I think so, come take a look. Yeah. Eric wanted to pull the tractor in, get a nice flat level on our concrete in the garage here. Just to see how the blower is sitting, making sure that cutting edge is nice and fit Is on the ground, wind? nice and flat. Looks that's, good, Eric. That's good. That's perfect. I, okay. Can't see this side right now? Yeah, yeah, let's check it out. So he's liking the way it's looking right now. We're gonna tighten up the top link here. Tighten that lock nut so that the top link doesn't move at all. You can see, lock it tight. It's very important, guys. Oh, so now you can see the way that cutting edge is sitting. That's exactly what we want. It's a little bit front heavy, but that's what we want. Check it out from the inside here. You see how that's sitting, guys? Nice, flat, and flush to the ground. So might I add, holy crap, that is such a nice stainless steel cutting edge right there. Honestly, the perfect amount of thickness for how much use we get out of these. I love it. Looks great. Let's take it for a test drive. Let's do it. We got Eric whipping around the corner here. And he's going to show you guys how nice the stainless steel blade scrapes on the bare asphalt here in front of us. Check it out, guys. Okay, boys and girls, there you have it. Look at it. That's a wrap on the install for the stainless steel cutting edge. Eric, what do you want to tell all the followers? If you have any questions, let us know. Comment below, hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below any ideas or thoughts that you guys got going on. We appreciate you all so much. We make these videos not only for us, but for you guys too. And thank you for everything. We'll catch you on the next one.